Hello and welcome to all my beautiful vibrant souls who are Sagittarius, cross watchers for Sagittariuses, or have major Sagittarius placements. Um, I want to welcome you to your March 2023 predictions. Um, please excuse the super bright light. The sun has gone down here um, and the lighting in my house is generally, it's, you know, it's an old house. Um, so I have my little ring light on, but yeah, welcome. For those of you who are familiar with my previous AstroCast, um, I'm switching up the style a little bit. So where I used to do a weekly prediction for all the signs, um, I will be doing monthly predictions for each of the signs. So like I said, this could be for Sagittarius Sun, somebody, um, you know, your cross watcher, some important Sagittarius is in your life. You want to know kind of roughly how their month might be going. Um, or if you have any significant Sagittarius placements and you want to see how the energy might be playing out um, in that particular area of life or related to those areas of life. So that's what this is going to be. Now for all of my newcomers who are unfamiliar with astro casting, um, I'll give you a quick rundown so you know how it works. Um, so as you can see, we have this board that is divided into 12 equal segments, and these represent the 12 houses of the zodiac and their natural areas of rulership. I do want to post this with the caveat that while we are talking about the, uh, you know, natural houses of the zodiac, this will play out differently for you based on your own personal astrology. So yeah. 12 houses of the zodiac, natural areas of rulership. What I do is I reach into my little jar of teeny tiny tarot cards. Look at, look at these little, the, the, these little teeny tiny two of cups. Look at them. Oh, they might be small, but their love is big. Um, so I reach in blindly and then cast cards onto the board and interpret the energies of the cards in the area of life where it falls. So that is kind of how it works. Um, yeah, so with that, let us see what March is going to be bringing forward for you. I hope you guys had a great February. Um, I feel like a nice energy from this. Like the, There's been a lot in the collective about big shifts, and this kind of, you know, uh, can go along. Saturn is transiting in March from Aquarius into Pisces. Um, do I think it? No, they're saying that's it. But uh, there's also, you know, there's the, the springtime coming. There's a kind of influx of new energy for people in general. Um, but for yours, it feels like it feels nice. Oh, that's why. Beautiful. Okay. So here you are, Temperance. Can you guys see this, by the way, pretty well? Um, I'll see if I can lift it up. So you guys have, um, you guys have temperance. It is in the fourth house. It is very close to the middle though. So when cards land in the middle for me, this is where it can apply to any or all areas of life. Um, you have the chariot reversed in the third house and the page of cups, beautiful in the 10th house. Lovely, lovely. We absolutely adore this. Sorry again, it's a little blinding. I try to turn the light down and I don't think, I think it's at its lowest setting. Let me just let me just peek real quick here. Yep, that's as it's as low as she'll go. Sorry, I mean to bump the camera. Um, so yeah, temperance in the fourth, uh, chariot reversed in the third, and the page of cups in the tenth. Um, whew, I'm just sitting with this for a second. This is nice. This is where um, I was looking. It's hard to see on this card, but uh, there's light. It almost looks blue all around um, Archangel Gabriel's like crown chakra area here. What I feel like with this, especially um, the chariot reversed in the third house, is that you guys are getting communication. Um, this could be from a family member, particular emphasis on either a mother figure or a sibling with the third and the fourth house coming in. We have a lot of home and family energy here with the chariot, uh, Cancer's energy, like said Sagittarius, and Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the Page of Cups. This could have been somebody you've known since childhood, somebody you used to go to school with, um, but somebody who is very near and dear to your heart. Um, and I feel like this is something where either, like I said, you grew up with this person or you and this person have watched each other grow significantly. And the reason why I say this is because with the fourth house and the 10th house coming through Cancer and Capricorn's houses, um, this axis to me in astrology talks about parenting and or reparenting, right? Because she's the archetypal mother, we have the archetypal father. Um, and so there's a lot here about learning how to, again, how to uh, parent yourself and others in a healthy way, right? When to kind of, um, be nurturing, warm, receptive, loving versus when to, uh, you know, really kind of um, instruct and teach and um, 
give a little bit of tough love in order to help somebody grow and overcome their limitations, right? And this is kind of what the balance between these two things are. So either you and this, and we have balance represented here with the temperance card. Uh, so like I said, either you and this person have known each other for a really long time, um, or you've really watched each other grow. If this is a parent-child dynamic, um, similarly, you know, this is somebody who's watched you grow, um, and you've watched them grow as well, even if you were less aware of it. Um, but this is somebody who I feel like is coming back to you with a chariot reverse with communication. Something didn't work out, right? Um, just because the light around the crown, you might be intuitively picking up on this. Um, for some of you, this is something where they are not directly coming back. Um, but you are getting spirit guide messages about them. I do feel like that is the minority for a lot of you. I feel you might be able to sense this is coming in. Um, some of you I'm getting have prayed or uh, asked your guides in a significant meditative way for clarity. You've asked for communication around this. You've asked for resolution um, and you're getting what you've asked for. I'm really being drawn to the the yellow flowers here, the little the little yellow flowers um, being symbolic of friendship. So again, this could be somebody that is your friend. Um, and this is somebody who, I feel like with the chariot reverse, either they went away, like they, they moved away, they went away from the connection, um, <clears throat> excuse me, or there was this sense of, I was going to say failure, but I heard falter, something faltered. Um, I think intuitively you've always known this person was going to drift back to you. <clears throat> um, or you guys are going to solve it, or like if this is a family member, you're like, we'll figure it out later. This is what is, I feel, picking up for you in March, right? There is a healing here that's coming in. Um, the fourth house is our home and our, our family, but it's also our emotional foundations. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm feeling like both of you had some healing to do, um, and that's kind of why there may have been some time apart. I'm really being drawn into the sun in the background, right? There's a sense of um, understanding and enlightenment and personal power that had to be regained. I'm also hearing reconstructed. Um, so this feels like after having done the work both on your own and like, like you know, both you and this person on your own, um, there has been enough of a breakthrough that you guys can come back together and now you can discuss it in person. So I do really like to see that. For some of you, um, you, you wanted to move with this uh, chariot and the fourth house. You wanted to move homes and um, you might be getting, either have recently gotten a denial on something or you're getting a denial. So maybe you didn't get approved for a loan. You put in an offer and it didn't get accepted. Um, you know, this might be tied to career with the 10th house where you were really like gunning for this job and you're like, one of the things you're excited about is that it involved relocation um, or, you know, would allow you to move to a better living situation and you got shot down or you're getting shot down in the month of March. Um, but what your guides want you to know with this temperance uh, in the fourth house and page of cups in the 10th is this is not your ship. Anything that is not panning out for you, this is not for you. Um, and I know everybody says that, and it's because temperance, you know, involves patience because there's alchemy being involved, right? They've got the two of cups. Spirit is whipping up something very special for you in order to offer it. I feel like this either, this doesn't pan out either because you're going to get a better offer out of this situation. So maybe, you know, you apply for one job within your company and you're like, yes, this will like finally give me the stability to be able to move homes and you don't get it. But then, you know, a week later, two weeks later, um, you're offered, you know, like, do you want to interview for this other position? And it's actually better, um, or will lead to better things just because the page is the sort of the beginning stages. Um, it will end up being a better situation for you. There's something where, um, you know, like I said, it's either something like that, or like you didn't get one particular, like, um, you didn't get the approval you were looking for. You didn't get your, you know, your offer wasn't accepted. Something falls through because it's going to take a little bit more time, but there's a better offer coming in, right? The 10th house can be about our legacy, our legacy, <laughs> our legs <laughs> and our status. I always say, I always say status accidentally. Um, our legacy and our status, what we want to build for ourselves. So there's something else that's going to be offered and it's not only going to, like, it's not just about, um, achieving the goal of the moment. It's about building toward a larger goal. I'm just taking a sip of my water. It's about building toward your big time, like, you know, accomplishments in this life. I would say the 10th house is 
you know, the kind of stuff where at the end of this life, you can put your name on it um, and you're happy with what you did, right? It's that kind of like important stuff. <laughs> um, and especially too, because the cusp line of the 10th house is your midheaven. This is coming from somebody seeing like somebody seeing you as a good candidate for whatever it is, right? Um, so like, let's say you put in for a house and your offer gets denied. This is like something where you find like maybe a different kind of house than you were expecting. Maybe it's a little smaller. Maybe it's like, uh, I'm kind of getting, I don't know why I'm really drawn to like his outfit right now. So maybe it's like a little bit more unique looking. It's, it's something a little different. Um, and it's something where like, you know, this has this energy of like the owners are, um, you know, want the right person to live in their house, right? So it's like, you're gonna get a better a better offer, a better fit for you. Um, with the fish popping out of the cup, this might be a surprise. Um, fish always represent luck and abundance as well. So it's like you get this offer and you're like pleasantly surprised, but somebody sees you as the right fit for whatever it is that is being offered. Um, now for some of you, you do have new career propositions on the horizon with the 10th house. Um, this is something where it will start small, but um, you're going to be drawn to it and it's going to be something that you want to do. And there is, I think intuitively you know this, but there is abundance that lies ahead. There is prosperity here. Um, so don't be afraid to start something new. Don't be afraid to start a side project if you're very passionate about it because it will lead to bigger things, right? It will lead to important things um, in your life. Um, and a lot of you, for a lot of you, this is because with temperance in the fourth house, you've really done a lot of healing work on healing your emotional foundations. So you're starting to build new things from a healthier, more grounded place, right? And with the two of cups reference here, spirit is now able to kind of bring you a perfectly aligned, like soul aligned manifestation. So this is what's starting to trickle in for you. And you're going to start to see those shifts um, come into your reality. Um, over the month of March. Something else I was getting really briefly is I do feel like um, you may also get some kind of like recognition at work, particularly if you recently started a new job. Somebody's like, oh, you know what? I saw your work on XYZ project. That was really good. Like you're getting singled out. It's something small with the page of cups, um, but you're getting like singled out in a positive way, right? Like, you know, if it's something where you're trying something new, right? You're like, oh yeah, I, I'd like to give that a try. Um, you do good work with it. And people are like, okay, this is a good fit. Like, thanks, you did a great job. You're getting recognition. Um, and I do feel like it's going to end up going a long way. Like, again, there's abundance attached, but you might not see how. So this is where, you know, maybe you take on a different type of project at work than you would normally take on, or you do something, you know, you go the extra mile and you now have your boss's attention in a way that you didn't before. And this is like, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. All right. I, you know, so they're, they're, you're now in their mental Rolodex, so to speak. So when they're thinking about who they want to place for future projects, who they want to kind of like, they're going to want to see more from you as a result of this. Um, so good things are coming out of this month. Like I said, I think it will be a relatively peaceful, sanguine month um, because you've really done a lot of work and done a lot of healing. Um, but anything that falls through, just know, like I said, that's not your ship. That's not for you. And anything that's being, um, that's being offered specifically, um, or again, like any like accolades, any appreciation, um, yeah, anything like that, your efforts are going to be, um, appreciated and rewarded. So I think that's everything that I've got for you guys. Feel free to come back throughout the month and let me know how this resonated. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a happy, healthy, prosperous month ahead, and I will hopefully get to talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.